Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing kind of a review on this Jouer Essentials Jet Set Matte Eyeshadow Palette. So I used every color in this palette today. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I loved them. They're matte, so that always gets a double thumbs up for me. But they blend so well. They go on amazing. They blend well. They look pretty. And you know, I almost passed this palette up. I was like, eh, there's another matte brownish palette, whatevs. But I really liked it. I really liked it. So I have a feeling that I'll be keeping my eye on Jouer just to see what other kind of palettes, eye palettes come out in the future because I do like them. The palette size or the pan size is a pretty good size. Um, again, they blend well. I really didn't have to use a blending brush except at the end. Um, maybe in between. I may have used it twice because I have little wrinkles right here and sometimes eyeshadows, yeah, they go bumpy over the wrinkles. If you don't have wrinkles, get prepared. It's coming. For those women that have wrinkles, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yes, you do. So anyways, I did kind of smooth and buff that out, but overall, the colors are, are pigmented. The fallout is about normal. Um, I just have been really impressed with the Jouets. So I did get the Jouet lippies from the Jet Set. Now the lip liner is from the Jet Set collection. I can't remember if the other two colors I used are from the Jet Set because I've got them all over there in a nice little spot where all my Jouer lippies are. I think maybe the opal that I put on the middle bit might be, but yeah. I mean, I, I do have quite a selection of the Jouer lippies to say the least. So anyways, I thought this one would look nice and I didn't care if it was from the collection or not. So on a scale of one to 10, I would say presentation is beautiful on this. This is a a plastic so it'll a hard plastic which makes it easy to travel with because you don't have to worry about things breaking the colors are great I think you could do a couple eye combinations very easy with this I just went with well let's try all the colors today I did use this several times before I filmed this because I actually filmed the video um, and then lost it I think I lost like I lost a handful of videos on a card, so I'm having to go back and recreate most of them. Not all of them, because I filed the stuff away in my little makeup area, so I can't remember what um, some of them were. But anyways, I wanted to recreate the Jouer because I really give them props for their eyeshadows. Again, their pan size is pretty good size. The colors blend, they're pigmented, and their fallout isn't excessive. I mean, it's kind of normal, but not excessive. So I can't say enough nice things about this Essential Jet Set palette. I really like it. So if you you like the nudes, you like the browns, you like matte shadows, and you like something that is pretty, stays on, and is easy to work with, this this is really easy to work with so I'd highly recommend it I would give this a perfect 10 to be honest with you presentation the way that the eyeshadows perform everything is just great so anyways um, hoping you like this review if you want to see how the eye look came out you're more than welcome to hang out with me have a good time I may have cracked a few jokes probably I'm not that funny but you never know <laughs> anyways here we go. Okay, so today uh, we're going to use bits from the Jouer Essential Jet Set. I had already filmed this. I actually filmed like four or five videos and lost them. The, I do have the Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liner. This one is in Nude. These lip liners go on super creamy so I really like that I did pick out um, some colors that are not from I don't believe they're from that jet set I could be wrong but we're gonna use tawny rose and then the lip topper maybe this was the lip topper on one of them is opal I love these lippies they smell 
so amazing. They look amazing. They go on amazing. I've got quite a little collection of these. I really do love the Jouer Lippies. They are just wonderful. So with your lip topper, you can put them all over your lips. A lot of times I just like to dab the interior, the middle of the lip to kind of make it look like it's, I don't know what the word is. It'll come to me. Hombre, we'll go with that. So when I bought this Jouer I matte kit, I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's, it's cute, it's cute. And then I used it and I was like, oh, this is so much better than cute. So I really, I really, really have enjoyed it. So we're gonna start out with this color here, which is called Check In. It's just too cute. Especially if you y'all travel a lot or little, or you've had an opportunity to fly. We're gonna check in with this peachy color. I think we'll go with this color here, which is called Carry On, and that's the only way I fly. I do not check a bag for anything. If it can't be carried on, I don't need it. In fact, when we went to Sweden to see our girls get married, I told my husband, if it can't be checked on, we don't need it. Because the last thing I wanted to do was be in a foreign country and not have my luggage. So I guess for me, yeah, traveling or checking on baggage is... Let's go with this next one called Runway. These colors blend really nice and you know again when I looked at this palette I was like eh it's alright but I really like this palette. I mean these colors just they look like they're blended when you don't need an uh, extra blending brush and for days that are running late this palette's the bomb. Okay, I got these San Filippo winget liners for my sister-in-law. She sent one in blue and one in green. And I loved it so much, I went and got one in black. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, they don't sell, or I haven't come across anywhere that sells just the, or other colors. And they have a hazelnut one that is screaming my name. I've got to figure out how to get a hold of these babies. So it's got a little triangle on the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of line the triangle bottom up with the lower lash line. And it does the little boop. And that's a technical term. Boop. So I will take the other side, which is pointed, and see what we can't do to kind of these match a bit better. The other day I had these suckers spot on. Okay, so at least got the wing set. Now I can keep going. I'm going to pick up this color here, which is called First Class. I think I've only been in First Class once. And from what I remember, it was a great experience. You used to be able to upgrade, like if no one had first class, for like 25 bucks if you were the first one there. Uh, I don't think they do it like that anymore, or I've not had that experience. Maybe I'm just on the wrong plane. So I guess I'm kind of trying all the colors today. Might as well, right? And since I'm going in that direction, let's just keep going. Let's use this little black right there. I'm gonna, and this black is called Black Card. I've heard of Black Box, but not Black Card. I guess they wouldn't want to put Black Box on this Jet Setter, right? <laughs> Probably means your plane has crashed, and that would ruin a Jet Setter's vacation. Oh, I didn't use the color Cloud Nine, so let's grab a brush. We'll grab some Cloud Nine. Since we're using the whole palette for fun. Underneath the brow bone. And we'll put some in here. And that is a pretty white. 
Ooh, cloud nine is my new favorite, the white color. All right, I'm gonna pick back up this eyeliner and we're gonna finish. The reason why I got this eyeliner the other day, well, because they're so easy to use, but I think they might combat my losing my eyeshadow with my eyes watering right now. These eyeliners are so easy. I do not know why they haven't stormed in the marketplace. That is just like crazy to me that these things can be so easy. So glad my sister-in-law sent those to me. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a, this is a foiled eye brush. Eye brush? Eyeshadow brush? A foiled eyeshadow brush? Anyways, I'm gonna pick back up some of this color here which is carry on. Basically, I think that's about it. Um, I am gonna put a bit of the fire from the Tardius Pro Glow Kit as a highlighter. I'm gonna finish up my eyelashes and then, and I don't think I'm gonna do false eyelashes, but I'll be back. Thank you so much for watching this video using the Jouer Essential Jet Set Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Absolutely love it. This was my first time buying a Jouer eye palette. I love their lippies. Love, love, love their lippies. In fact, I own, yeah, I own a lot of them. I really do. And I love them. They smell good. They stay on. They're pretty. What more could you ask for in a lippy? Well, you can ask for an eyeshadow palette and that's what we have so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and as always you have a choice make it a great one